All right, how's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and uh, last time we just caught a new Pokemon. That's right, we caught Zekrom and Kurum. Actually, we got both of them. So, today we're going to actually make our way down on over to the, um, well, down over to the old part of Unova. You know, all the way back to, uh, Nuvima Town and all that fun stuff. So, I'm gonna get my Pokemon really quick, and, uh, oh, I want you, Gilda. You need to be on my team. Darn it. But <laughs> I kinda wanna keep Zekrom just in case things get ugly. Well, I think I'll be able to handle it without it. Could probably just teach Zekrom fly. Oh well, whatever. So, there's so much to do in the post-game. After you've beaten the game, it's just all these different options open up to you. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing is doing post-commentary um, in the end, because it will just help me kind of group together all the different legendary Pokemon you can find, all of the different, um, you know, strong trainer battles and stuff. You don't have to see me fight every trainer in the game. And it's just a style thing. I think it'll just help make the videos more digestible. So that way I can show you, all right, here's how you get, you know, Azelf, Mesprit, and Yuxi all in one video rather than having to go all the way over here. But for right now, I'm going to do this in uh, live commentary just because, you know, might change my mind later. So we can finally go to the Sky Arrow Bridge. And you know what? This is a very long bridge. So I think I'm actually going to use my bicycle. Where'd that thing go? Surely put it on speed dial, huh? All right, um, so let's ride this thing, see where it takes us. Hey, you. Hmm, all right. She's saying bye-bye to wherever that other city was. Hey, how's it going, pal? Uh, he wants to buy fresh water for 300 or sell me? Oh, he wants to sell me fresh water for 300, I guess. Hmm, all right, whatever. Seems kind of like a ripoff. Maybe it means something. Alright, well, apparently not. So let's just uh, ride on over here. Man, there's a lot of people on this bridge. Oh, this guy, he wants some fresh water. Well, we'll give him some fresh water. Now he's at 100% so he can dash. Oh. Alright. Where'd he go, anyway? I just kind of want to see. <laughs> hey, pal, come on. Did he run all the way over there? I'll see if he's in here, otherwise I'm just gonna ride back. We've gotta go through Pinwheel Forest. No, I don't see him, I guess... He just wanted to run off. Oh well. Some life lessons only cost you 300 Poké Dollars, and I think the life lesson learned here is never buy water from a stranger, and never give water to a stranger. That seems pretty logical. I mean, these are things every trainer should know. Other than the guy in the Saffron City building. Well... All four of the buildings, really. None of them will let you through. Unless you give them fresh water! Because they're too lazy to get it themselves. So... What do we have here? Okay, now there is one other important thing. Um, now that we can... Well, now that we've beaten the game. You see this notice board here? Um, right when you enter the route, you'll actually see... Like a, uh, well, once you enter the gate, I'm sorry. Once you enter the gate, you'll see, like, a root show up. In fact, I'm going to show you here. This indicates that a Pokemon is swarming there, so you may want to check that out. For instance, see that? The 9? Well, that means something's swarming on Route 9, so you better go check it out. Um, this Pokemon is usually something that couldn't be found in the wild, normally, but, uh... I'm gonna show you that later. Now, I'm not sure if I want to, like, fight every trainer right now, so we'll just see how far I can get without doing that. Oh, well, apparently not very far. Okay, well, bring it on. You know what? I don't really have to worry. I really don't have to. 
Oh, okay, only level 61. So they're roughly the same level, if not even weaker, than they were in the post-game of... Wait, what's this? Is this Fly? Oh, I have Fly! That's right. Then why do I have my Skarmory? <laughs> oh, well. Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so I mean, they're strong, but not too strong. They're not really that much stronger than the champion. Not even close. Okay, so we'll just take these trainers out. See what's going on. I might even speed it up, make a little montage or something. I mean, you know, this is... After you've beaten the game, there's just so many of these trainers, and it's good, but it's like, it's boring for recording, I guess. Because you're not really going anywhere. It's totally non-linear at this point. You can just do whatever you want. It just seems kind of like there's so much to do. So little time to do it all in. Alright, well, you've been taken out. That's good. But I have a goal. I know exactly where I want to go. Let's see if I can sneak past you. Ooh. So good. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I have to fight these twins, I'm sure. Probably should have looked to see who's on number two spot on my team. Oh, well. Oh, well. They will overcome these two. Plusle and Minin. Alright, I'm set. I am set. Alright, let's use some Earth Power. And, um... Just because I don't want to actually hit a draw. Oh, I can just use Aura Sphere. That'll probably take out the Plusle. Boom! Bazooka Cannon, yeah! I mean, Earth, earth Power. Darn, Earth Power. Okay, good. Levels up. Level 61. Very nice. Use Odoken! Take it out, please. <laughs> oh, not quite. But I think it was trying to do something to help its partner. To no avail. Wow, Guild is so fast. Cool. Okay, so, twins down. That's good. There's still a whole ton to do in this forest, but you know what? I'll come back and check it out later. Oh, shoot. I have to fight a lot of things here, don't I? Well, maybe. I might be able to get around it. Cool, so now we're back in Nat Green City. That's pretty nifty. I feel like I'm missing something, though. So, I am going to go back and fight in the forest a little bit more. I just would not be doing you a favor if I wasn't covering that, huh? I might speed it up, but we'll see what we can find in here, huh? Hey, you. Hmm. Alright. Is that Sharon? I think that is. Well, whatever. Oops. Hello. Let's battle. She's talking about Dragon-type Pokémon. Hmm. That's interesting. I wonder what kind of dragon type she wants, or what kind she has. Oh, she has some dragon types! She has a little Dratini. Well, that little Dratini is nothing compared to my big ol' Flygon. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that? Let's treat it to a Dragon Claw. Boom! Pretty nice. Great. And a Gibble! Wow! Kill ton of Pokémon. Um, hmm, everyone's at level 61, that's fine. Might as well slash this thing with a Dragon Claw. I don't know what other Pokémon you have. Okay, so. Oh, that's a... It's a I think it's a horsey. Well, hopefully it is, otherwise I'm making a big mistake switching into, um... Lilligan here. Oh, no, I was totally wrong. Totally wrong. Oh, well. They have kind of similar names in Japanese. I wish I could remember what, um, Horsey's Japanese name is. I know it's, um, it's 
gotta be something. It's like, it's Tatsu something. Because you see, Bagun's Japanese name there is Tatsu Bay, but I know Horsey's is Tatsu something. So, that's why there's a little bit of confusion. Oh well, it happens to the best of us. It's pretty amazing to have 649 names memorized in English, yet alone in Japanese. It's pretty insane. Hey, what's going on? You're not letting me through. You weirdo. Are you going to battle me? Oh, here I was running away from you for no reason. In fact, it seems like no one here wants to battle. They just want to talk. Except for these little kids that are running around everywhere. Ugh, so many kids. Whooper! It's a whooper. It's a whooper. Alright, well, we'll take this little thing out. Slime little beast. Yeah, Dragon Claw! Oh, yeah. So good. So good. And it is a, um, oh, what do you call that thing? T no, Temple, Temple, that's it. I want to say Otamaro, but that's not going to do me any good, because that's Japanese now. Okay, Temple. Let's, uh, oh shoot, I don't even care. Let's just Giga Drain you. Get it over with. Ooh, yeah, you're gonna gain a level, aren't you? Very nice. 62. That's good. That's good. Great. Picking on little kids. I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> Alright, hey you. Did I battle you yet? Yeah, I did. But I didn't battle you. Get over here, you little brat. Yeah, bring it on! Come on! I'll show you a thing or two about battling. Oh, you've got a burn me. Hmm. Interesting. Why do you have a burn me? I will never know. But I'm just gonna fly, fly away, and it's probably gonna use protect or something silly like that, just to totally mess with my strategy. Just watch it. Yep. What did I tell you? I called it. I so called it. Ugh. Oh well, we'll just have to use Dragon Claw to take it out. Unless you want to use Protect two times in a row. Like a coward. Come on, only cowards do that. Right? Right? Am I right? Well, maybe not exactly right, but... You're being a coward. Why do I have one less hit point? It's weird, I don't remember what took away a hit point. <laughs> um... Paris. Well, that thing has effects for, I'm pretty sure. So, I'm gonna just Ice Beam it. Why I didn't want to burn it with fire, I don't know, but oh well. Oh well, Ducky needs a little bit of fun. Now what could be more fun than squashing a mushroom bug, huh? Yeah. And ooh, a sight there, now there's something kind of fun too. Definitely something Piggy can take out. Alright, get in there, Piggy. Do your magic. Cool sight there. Uh, I don't know how heavy it is, but I'm sure Piggy's got to be very heavy. Ooh, Air Slash. Not good. Thankfully, I didn't flinch. I'm unflinchable. Well, okay, Piggy isn't, but Lucario is. Well, a newbie. Alright, so, all the trainers here are done. Yeah, you don't have to fight you. Uh, Charon, what's up, buddy? I really don't know if I'm gonna have to fight him or not, so... Like, I don't think I fight him now, but... I very well might, so I would just want to make sure I'm healed. Alright. Now we'll battle. Or we'll see what's up. Uh, sure, why not? I don't know what you just asked me to do, but... Oh, you're gonna follow me around. Well, that's nice. That's very nice. Alright, let's just battle these two in a double battle. I know I don't have to. You could actually talk to them and fight them individually if you wanted, but hey! I've got Sharon with me, so I might as well make use of his... battling expertise. 
guess he'll heal me after every battle. That's cool. I wonder what kind of Pokemon he has. A Chansey! Oh, I love Chansey. Oh, so he's using his big old Stoutland. And it is level 67. Jeez, that's strong. Very strong. I like this. This is great. All right, I could do this all day long. Sharon, you're my new best friend, buddy. Level 67, that's very... Oh, that's right. Why on earth did I use Earth Power? No pun intended. I should know that. I should have used Dragon Claw. Chansey has just a ton of um, hit points, but it has virtually no defense. So really, your best bet against it is... Um, your best bet against it is something like a physical based attack. Because that'll do by far the most amount of damage to it. Alright, I'm gonna fly and try to take out that bug thing, but we'll see what Stoutland's gonna do. Oh, Stoutland already wants to take that bug out. That's doing a very good job, though. Hmm. Iron Defense. Oh, that's just great. I wasn't even paying attention to what kind of attacks I was using. I'm just like, <gasps> Chansey! Oh, come on! I had a miss with... Wow, really? Leaf Storm. Oh. Look at that, Gilda. That's all because you missed, alright? You shouldn't have done that. Jeez, look at that. This is just a waste. All because of one miss. <sighs> okay, take this stupid- Oh, come on! Really, dude? Really? You are dumb, Sharon. That was not smart at all. Oh, man. Really? Well, that's just great. Yeah, you deserve that one. <laughs> At least Gilda gets some pretty good experience. Okay. Oh wow, you have a, a thing. Neat. Watch all. Only level 65 though, that's a shame. Ooh, fire punch! Hey! Perfect! Perfect. Okay, finally, that's over with. Great. So, let's go about our business. Hey, you! Let's battle. Sharon's not gonna be able to battle with me, but he'll heal me after the fight, so that's fine. Oh my, it's a pseudo widow! Okay, well, no big deal. We can take it out. Cool. And... Oh my, that is a, um... Uh... Sunbear! No, it's... Um, Bear Tick, that's what it is. I love its Japanese name. Whoa. Alright, let's see. It's pretty heavy, so I don't think I'm gonna I'll just use flamethrower. Wow, level 62, that's pretty strong. And oh wow, is that a Belossi? Some kind of no, it's a Gloom. Close. That's right, it's a Gloom. Kusaihana. But last one's Kirehana. I love Gloom. Okay. So, what kind of berry are you gonna give me? It's a Citrus Berry. Cool. Alright, what do we have down here? Oh, it's a double battle! Two of those things. Wow, level 55 and 56. Wow, Pokemon have gotten tough. 
Okay, this is gonna get old very fast. I'm half tempted to use a repel, but... Eh. Alright, but I do know I want to get rid of Gilda here. Let's send out... Um, Piggy seems like a good bet. Alright, what is this item? Let me turn on my dowsing machine. It is a max repel. Lovely. Anything over here? Whoa, it's a Vigoroth! Cool! Level 55, huh. Kinda want it, but not really that badly. Great time to get a Levani if you want one. Can evolve it pretty quick, that's good. Ugh, that Intimidate is really driving me crazy. I will use a Rebel, don't provoke me. Okay, I see you there. Hello, hello. Oh yeah, so if you have an Eevee over by that rock there, I think you can level it up, and then it'll evolve into Leafeon! Which is pretty neat. Leafeon happens to be my second favorite evolution. I like its looks for some reason. I have an affinity for grass-type Pokémon. Alright. Weeping Bell here. Take that out, no problem. No problem at all. Alright. Level 62. Excellent. I'm trying to learn. Ooh, Flare Blitz. That's right. Cool. Um. It's a very strong attack, but in all honesty, I think I'm better off with Heat Crash. Because Umbor is pretty heavy. And I also have Flamethrower to back it up. Oops. Sometimes I just want to use Flamethrower. I don't have to worry about doing damage to myself just to hit hard. And, ooh, that is a, um, I think it's a teddy or so, or maybe a big one. Yeah, it's the big one. The big one! Ursaring. Are you Ursaring? Oh, man, I was Ursaring all over the place this morning. Inside joke, it's great. Silly old Ursaring. And Lux Ray, am I right about that? I think I am. Wow, that'd be cool. Sweet! Lux Ray looks pretty awesome in this. I used the Lux Ray in my first Japanese Diamond playthrough. And it was pretty cool, but it was also pretty weak. And the problem is, it has high attack, but it really doesn't learn too many good electric-type attacks that are physical-based. Or at least in Diamond and Pearl. I mean, you're pretty much limited to Thunder Fang. Ah, uh, Citrus Berry. Alright. Yeah, nothing over there, except for that rock. Uh, another Vigoroth! Oh my! Alright, so getting out of here. Help me! Gotta run away. Alright, um, hmm. Item over there. I'm gonna use, like, a repel right after this next fight. Because I'm just done with this. And all I'm seeing are these little cotton things. Driving me mad, I tell you. It's driving me mad. I'm not gonna put up with this anymore. This is an outrage. I should probably switch Piggy out. Balance my levels a little bit. All right, I'll do that while I'm here. Um, give you a little chance, Ducky. And let's use. Use that. I'm running out of these things, but that's fine, because I want to buy super repels afterwards. And this is an Ultra Ball. Cool. Yeah, I want to buy super repels, because they're a much better choice. Hello, youngin. I mean, youngsta. Mm. 
Mankey. What an unimpressive Pokemon. Even though I used one in my yellow version. So the balls of a primate, but it's more impressive. But right now, I'm unimpressed. Yeah, take that, pig nose. Uh, Snubble? What? No way. I haven't seen a Snubble in ages. Hmm. We'll just surf it away. And... What the... Shizariga? I have no clue what the heck that thing is! No wonder. It's you. Ugh, this is a bad choice. I literally did not know what on earth was being sent out. Corefish and Crawdon. Those are ones that I just cannot remember their Japanese names for the life of me. In fact, I tend to be very bad at um, any of the Hoenn names in Japanese. That's the one generation I didn't play um, in Japanese. And it's really a shame because, you know, there's some Pokemon in there. Actually, I, I did play the third generation. I just didn't play uh, Ruby or Sapphire in that. And I actually got a Japanese Leaf Green when it first came out. Oh, Charon, you're, you're walking on my space, yo. Another Ultra Ball. Don't they get that I don't need these things anymore? Oh, wow. What do we have here? Max Revive. Wow, they're very generous with the amount of Max Revives they give you. Nothing to complain about, of course. Hey, you. With the face. Hey! Slow down. I want to fight you. Yeah, you can go patrol some other woods, pal. I'm patrolling these woods, and I'm looking for loot and treasure and all that good stuff. What's that thing gonna do? Look at that thing. Looking at me all funny-like. With its jaw wide open. Alright, well, I'll just use Surf on it. Silly old Electrite. Uh, what? It's a far fetch. We have to have duck versus duck. That's awesome. <laughs> Look at far fetch. Love that duck. All right, it just looks so silly. It's like dancing or something. That thing needs to be in a musical. That's what it needs to be in. All right, level 62. Cool. And oh my goodness, it's a pony. Is a Rapidash. It's a pony with a horn on its head. Whoa! It's using something. I think that's Flare Drive. Flare Blitz. I'm sorry. I have to keep correcting myself. It's Flare Drive in Japanese, but that won't get you too far if you're playing the English games now, will it? Me and my ability to read some Japanese, darn it. Sometimes can get very confusing. You read one thing, and then you have to cross-translate it with the English name, which... Oh, and you gave me a Lumberry. That's right. Yeah, it can be kind of confusing. So, what do we have around here, huh? Surprisingly, there's nothing hiding in there. Oh, man, what is over here? Ooh, snap! There's some veterans, and they want to fight. So, I'm going to let a newbie handle this. She could use some experience. Oh snap! They're both gonna battle me! Oh no! Whatever will I do now? Well, now I have Charon to help, so that's a good thing. Yo, Charon, get over here! Whoa! They're each using three Pokemon. Oh snap. Crobat and, and Ludicolo? Oh snap. Level 64, no less. That's pretty strong. Oh, Ludicolo. What on earth is that thing weak to? I think it's only weak to, like, flying. We'll have to deal with it later. Fake out. Come on. 
kind of noob move is that? You turn. Uh oh. I'm just gonna hit it with ice punch. Oh no! It's a mag mortar. Well, this isn't gonna hit so hard. Yeah, that was pretty weak. Ooh, what do I do now? Hmm. I just kind of want to take that thing out as quickly as possible, but I think it has fairly decent special defense. Shoot. I'm trying to think what would even be good here. I don't really want to switch. Well, I'll be healed up afterwards, so I guess it doesn't really matter if anyone gets knocked out. See, if I switch, then I'm basically giving them each a chance to attack. And just leave Stoutland on its own. And then whatever's, whatever I'm going to send out is probably going to be hit by some kind of attack. And that's not cool. Why do you do that? Come on, it's like you could have taken out that Meg Mortar. Why do you have to be so stupid? Okay, let's see. Kill the... Oh, man. Yeah, let's just do guild. Oh, actually, I should have done Duck. Surf would have been... Actually, not so great. Oh, man. I want to get that... That big old thing out of here. So let's just give it one of its cannons. Yeah, give you a bazooka. You like that bazooka arms, huh? Oh, yeah. Except it's not going to be that great, but whatever. Oh, you got a critical hit! Cool. Good job on that wild charge. Oh, it's a Leafeon! I was just talking about Leafeon! And a fortress. Yeah, enjoy. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I know Fortress is a tough nut to crack, so I'm just gonna try to use Earth Power on it. I know it has a lot higher defense than it does special defense. Wow. Critical hit. I think it had Sturdy, though. Sword Stance, oh my. Oh, that's great! Yeah, use double edge on it. See if I care. That's awesome. I gotta take that leafy on out, otherwise it's gonna do some mega damage. Ooh, but it's an electivier. Wow, I really want to take that thing out. So I think I'll use Earth Power on that. What did you miss with? Did you just miss with strength? I can't believe it. Oh no! All right, well you're out of luck there, Stout One. <laughs> Yeah, but it's okay, you've got backups. Whoa, you've got a... Yeah, that's right. Chinchino. Hmm. I kind of want to take Leafeon out, but that, I think that Electivire could do a lot of damage. Or not. Alright, fine. Be fast like that! See if I care, except now I'm going to use Earth Power on that Leafeon. Kind of silly, but whatever. Oh man, it just ripped that thing apart. <laughs> okay, it's no big deal. Now it's two on one. So I'll just use Dragon Claw. Wow, I keep forgetting it has a lot of defense too. So good. Oh my goodness! It got a critical hit! It is tearing Sharon apart! Wow, it did ch tear Charon apart. It's crazy. Huh. Oh well. And Crobat. Hello, Crobat. Let's do Dragon Claw, obviously. You turn, you can't do that. I mean, I guess you can, but it's not going to be really effective. Ugh, this is taking forever. 
fine. Just you turn me all day, why don't you? See if I care. This battle's taking so long. Ugh. There we go. Finally! That only took forever! Oh, but I get like 10 grand for beating them. That's kind of nice. Okay. Sharon, you better have healed my Pokemon. <laughs> Netball. Joy. If that's something I really want. Uh, there's a hidden item over here somewhere. Ooh, shaking grass. Does that even work? In a oh, wow! I like! <laughs> what the? Wait, why is one level 64? And one's level 54? That's weird. That seems like such a high level discrepancy. Huh. How does that even work? That's really interesting. a very high level ought to know. <laughs> cool, whole time experience. That's good. Um up there. Oh! Gotta fight these two. And I didn't have to do it in a double battle. I could have talked to the youngster from the side, but oh well. Karen needs a chance to redeem himself, to regain some of his dignity. Oh no, it's another six person battle, or six Pokemon battle. Thankfully these people are using little nooblets. I don't know. Wow, I gained like nothing from that. So sad. Whoa, Nitto Queen. Alright. Got a lot more interesting now. We'll take it out with an ice punch, though. It won't last very long. What are you doing, really? Double edge. I don't think that did anything. It's that Nitto Queen I'm most worried about, though. Ooh, I didn't do enough to knock it out. Come on, please hit the one. Why don't you ever use any strategy? Now look what you just did, okay? That was all your fault, Sharon. You should be ashamed of yourself. That was so embarrassing. Sharon! Alright. You know what? I'm so done with you. Oh yeah, now you hit the Nitto Queen. I'm so done with you. You're gonna get hit by Surf. I'm just gonna be unrelenting to you. <laughs> Nidoran Mail. What's your obsession with Nidoran? Rock climb? What is this? Yeah, take that, Stoutland! And everyone? Yeah, no one you can attack now. Ew, that thing's gross. 
I'm just gonna use Surf on it. I mean, I want to hit Stoutland. It deserves to be punished. There we go. Okay, well, that was a lot of fun. Um... Hey, check it out. I think... How do I get in there? Looks like it's one of those hidden holes. I don't have anything that can surf! Oh no! Wait, yeah I do. Oh, but I can't surf while I have Charon with me. That's right. That's right. Okay, so there's a hidden... Oh, is that the... What is that thing? It's that mushroom. The bomb mushroom? The... I honestly don't remember its name. But it's the one that you can sell for, like, a lot of money if you take it to the chef person, the baker lady on Route 5. You can get a whole ton of dough from that. What that item? Uh, let's see. I think I was supposed to go this way. Here we go. Ah! What's going on? Oh no, it's one of the plasma dudes. The plasma sages. What's he doing here? Huh, so he's talking about some stuff, I guess. Something about the dragon bones. Or stolen. Some things, and then he's walking off. What a weirdo. Well, Charon didn't seem too concerned, so he's giving me an upgrade! Yeah, he gives me an upgrade. Two Ds. For a double dose of evolving your Porygon. And then right here, this is TM86, which I think is Grass Knot, but this lady is going to fight me first. Oi. I don't have Charon, so I can't even heal immediately afterwards. Oh well, at least I don't have him to interfere with my nefarious schemes for world domination. What are you doing? Don't know what I just did there, but whatever. Hopefully Anora's sphere will be- oh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. I think I used Smash. It looks weird. It's like it's missing part of its mouth when it animates. Looks like it should be red in there. Instead, it just turns white. It's not good. Hmm, Zubstrika. Wow, there's only one choice for this, really. She's kind of over leveled right now, but. I need to get that Earthquake TM. That's what I need to do. Whoa, Thrash. Ouch, that hurt. Oh, well, we'll just hit it with some of that. Yeah, what do you think of me now, huh? And that's a cricket tune, huh? Alright, well, I've got a big pig for that. it with fire. Don't know what else I burn it with. Insults? Oh! Alright, took that thing down. And you're gonna give me a lumberry. Lumberry. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else fun to do over here? Not seeing much of anything. I could jump down there, but I don't want to be a coward. I want to go back to where I could surf. I have my suspicions. Ooh, something's rustling over here. I gotta see what it is. Oh my, it's a pan sage. Oh my, it's a level 55 pan sage. Oh snap. Very strong little parsley thing. Alright. Uh. See, I think... So doesn't that look like you could go in there? It's gotta be an angle you can get in there from. 
But maybe it's just meant to look like that. Hmm. Well, I don't seem to be able to get in, so I guess it's just... I don't know, an accident or something. Just always gotta be on the lookout for those hidden holes. Alright, so let's jump down here now. And let's see if that path is open. Yay! So this opens up after you've done all that stuff with Charon. So that's kind of cool. Green shard right over here. Nifty. Ooh, that's right. My max repel isn't going to work. Because these things are high level. Oh, no! They're both level 62. Let's run away. Oh, it's a youngster. What are you doing back here, youngin? What you doing, son? Hmm. It's a thing. It's a schnoz... ...fant. Uh, yeah. Take this, vampy. Right in the schnoz. And, oh wow, a Fero. Such an odd variety of Pokemon around here, huh? Okay, um, and a Doduo, oh my. All right, well, we can take this thing out. Great. Hmm, so what do we have over here now? I know this is where I caught Verizian in the first game. It's a bug jewel, a gem. Looks like it's opened up. Might as well take a peek inside. Hey, anything in here? There's a dude in here. Oh, I'm talking about the dragon Pokemon from Opelucid City. I'm talking something about Village Bridge. A whole ton of things. Dude, you're boring. Get out of here. There's like nothing in here. This place stinks. What a ripoff. I want my Verizian back. Oh yeah, so one other thing. Oh, really quick. There's a Sunstone over here. So one other thing, speaking of Verizian and about those Pokemon, right? So, you actually can run into them at level 65 if you don't catch them early on. I'm not going to use the repel, it doesn't matter. Um, for instance, when I caught Verizian or Cobalion or whoever... Oh, and really quick, right here, TM22 Solar Beam, just like it was in the old game. Um, for instance, if I were to wait until after I beat the game before I were to try fight Cobalion or Volcarona or um or Terrakian and Volcarona is included in this list too. Ooh, rare candy right here. Yeah, but if I were to wait, I would actually fight them at level 65 instead of 35 for Volcarona or 45 for Cobalion, Terrakian and Verizian. So, if you're not planning on using them right away, you're much, much better off waiting... Oh, there we go. Now I can get in here. You're much better off waiting until after you've beaten the game to try and catch them. Oh, it doesn't look like anything's here right now. Looks like I got some fertilizer. Gross. Just thought I'd mention that, because, you know, it's kind of neat. I already caught them in here, so I can't really show you what it's like. Oh, yeah! PP Max. Awesome! Yep, can't really show you what it's like, but you can take my word for it. That's particularly useful for Volcarona, because um, it's so good at level 65 to 70 or so, because that's when it has Quiver Dance, that's when it has all of its good moves. That's when it's just awesome. But, mm, you know, level 35 to level 60, that's a long way to go before it's going to be that useful. So I think I'm going to take a break here for right now. Hopefully you've enjoyed my little exploration of uh, Pinwheel Forest. 
I'll check out the outside of Pinwheel Forest, as well as Nacreen City, on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Black 2 Adventure Let's Play Thingy!